Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm just getting uh, onto Facebook now. Instead of you seeing my dodgy hair, well, not my dodgy hair, my very colourful hair. It's fabulous hair. Fantabulous. It's fab tablets. Fab tablets. Oh, that's an interesting way of saying it. Fab tabulous. That's my happy face. Are you happy? Oi. Don't your da. Right, here we go. Right, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Let's go. That's a power bank. It's a power bank. Ooh. You charge it and then you plug your phone into it and it charges your phone. I thought it was a bank for phones. Kind of. It gives your phone battery. It gives your phone money. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Right, yeah. Sorry about my little sister in the background. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi, Di. So we do have... I think we're going to do – I liked how we did this, how it went, like, fully across the journal. I thought that was pretty different. But I think what I might do is I'm going to try and do two different color schemes. So I'm going to do this side one color scheme and that side another color scheme next week. Um, I was supposed to be doing a turtle mixed media layout tonight with the three turtle stencil. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the turtle stencil home and then my youth council meeting ended um, a little bit too late for me to go and grab the keys from mum and dad and then come back, to, then go back to the shop and grab the stencil. So instead what we're going to use is we're going to use our happy stamp. Oh, hello, Karen. And Amanda and Helen and Pam. I'm truly sorry for everyone who had their hearts set on the turtle stencil. I even did a social media post about it today. So um, we will be back next week with the turtle stencil. I promise I'm going to actually bring it home tomorrow and have it on my desk ready for next week. Well, not on my desk, but somewhere safe. Ready for next week. Hello, Cheryl. And then I'm going to remind myself with a reminder text on my phone scheduled for next Monday at 6 p.m., about where I put it so then I don't lose it because that's somewhere safe. I will probably forget. But um, yeah, so instead I feel like um, we're going to do a little bit of a reinitiation to smushing with some stamping also involved. We use our stamps a lot with paint and we've done it once or twice with alcohol ink to show you that it doesn't um, hurt, the stand, hurt the foam in any way. Tonight I want to kind of show you what it looks like with inks because we haven't really done inks a lot with them and um, what it looks like when you wet the ink and you do it that way like give you a few options there and show you also this is um our white linen from our laser machine uh this word is not up yet this inspire we have had it in the box for quite some time um just looks beautiful doesn't it so we're going to use this one here tonight and um, I'll show you the diff. I'll show you some smushing techniques with it. We're gonna use our heat tool a little bit to get a nice bubbly effect. So I think what we might come and do is is we'll start with our inspire word, and then we'll go to the background because our background's gonna be quite simple. It's gonna be smiley faces. That's what I thought of so far. Hello, Dime B. So this. Tonight's kind of like a recap on some smushing technique and some stamping. Just to, it's important that you do some more basic, I guess, journal pages every once in a while, just to bring you back to um, some of the techniques that you might not use. Like we haven't used smushing for quite some time. Um, and like I said, we've never actually done stamping with our stamps before with our ink. So, with, with ink pads, so we're going to go with that. Now, does anyone have any colour they'd like to use? I preferably want to stay away from purple, pink, red and brown tonight, just because we do a lot of them currently. Ombre. 
we could do maybe a yellow would be nice a yellow and orange page really yellow orange and green maybe or yellow orange and blue green <laughs> we could do green and then let's just pull out a few of the different colors we've got here that we can use we do use a lot of purple and pink and we have used a fair bit of red in the last few weeks i don't really want to create with brown i will fully admit that tonight i do not have the energy to deal with a brown page or anything that goes to mud and it's good to admit that when you know that you can't handle it. That's the way it is. Oh, brown. I'm saying that we are kind of running a risk of our colour palette. No, that's like adding blue. Right. We've also got the archival ink. Is that the water-based one? No, it's waterproof. Nope. Can't use that. So the important thing is the ink pads that we're using tonight is that they'll move with water. So let's come in. And what colour do we actually want to do our title with? So we've got green, yellow and orange. I think if we actually stick yellow and orange on our background a bit of gold we do green for our title hopefully it stands out I'm kind of worried that it won't with our palette but we'll be fine okay so let's come in and we'll go with our lightest color first smush some of that down with just maybe a little bit of olive as well And then let's come in and spray. And then if you're worried about these lines here, so see where I've smushed my ink pad originally down the plastic, how there's still a little bit of a line there. You just grab your palette knife and come in and you rub out those lines. And because it doesn't have any threads to the palette knife, it's actually plastic itself, it keeps most of the liquid there and doesn't absorb any of it. So let's come and flip this over now. So it's backwards. So we've given ourselves a fair good coat there. So you can see with our green, it's fairly nice. And then if we come in, we just heat it up. Now we are getting to dry each layer, or we're going to at least try to, so then we can get differences in colour. Like we can already start to see a little bit of a difference there. I'm not holding it like this because it is a shimmery ink pad, which means you're just going to get blinded when I do that. It's like, oh, blind, green, blind. So yeah, so we're just holding it on a slight angle so you can see that difference there. And then if we come in, let's say with this pine mat, here, yeah, step it down in a few spots. And then come in with a bit of the Christmas green as well. There we go. So you could do this with Tim Holtz as well. Um, any water-based ink pad. So let's just come in and try this one. Yeah. Oh, plastic's a little bit too close. 
So just holding it about this much from your piece, from your Inspire as well, so then you don't um, burn it or accidentally light it a lot of flame. That isn't our goal here. Our goal is to make a nice pretty background. I think we might actually just come in with a bit of our leftover tissue. And we're just going to clean that off and we'll come in with a whole brand new colour on a dry piece of plastic to get a few more darker layers. Like you can kind of see them, they're not 100% there though. So we definitely need a few more, I think. We need it to be a bit drier. Not so much line everywhere. There we go. There we go, and then we're just coming in and we're moving all the water around to get rid of those lines. Come on, just dab that bit down there. Dab that bit there. Then if we come and heat that. So we didn't come and cover it on, we just did a little bit here and a little bit there. So we're starting to get a little bit of a difference there. Look at that. Look at the P there. That's nice, isn't it? So if we just come in and do a bit more. And then let's just do, I think, a little bit more. There we go. Is. It looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Oh, let me turn off the lights so you can see the clear color difference. Look at that. There you go. That's a bit better. I use the glittery ink pads, the, the pigment, the pigment pearlescent ones, so the light shines off of it, but I think that's quite nice. It's a bit different. There we go. So now let's come down and remove our little thing there and then let's do some playing ink pads and make ourselves some smiley faces. Oh, it is very St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? When is St. Patrick's Day? I should probably have checked that. So let's come in and just do a general ink our stamp and stamp our happy face down. So we just used our yellow ink pad for the first one. Start at the top. As you can see, not very bright. 
that's okay and then if we come and let's say with this orange now I'm we'll going next to it. I don't know if these are going to be Eevee Stevies. We should probably have drawn lines, but. Eh. Look at that. So, as you can see, our stamps do work with ink pads. And then let's just say. So, the two pigment ones. I've got a bit left on that stamp. So, we're just going to come in and. Stamp him there. I'm just maybe a little bit next to him. Oh. Getting ourselves lots of different colours. And let's just come in with a bit of yellow now. Step him down. One, two, And then, look how cool he's looking. So I'm just doing it in random colours. I think we'll go back to this orange maybe. Stick into the two oranges, the, or the orange and the yellow. So it's not like they're 100% in line or perfect. But then let's just say you add water to the page after you stamp it down. So we're going to use this gold, right? And so this is the pigment one. So we've added some gold to it. The pearl loss in the mean. Come down, we stamp. And if we wet it, see? doesn't move. However, if we come in... And we do the same thing. We stamp the ink onto this, onto the stamp. Spray our stamp with a little bit of water, and then come and stamp him down. He ends up looking a little bit evil. See, he's just a little bit loosey goosey. Great fun. And then that one, and maybe let's try this oak out again. I think it was the oak that was the CLB colour. Oh, yes, it was. And look at that. And even when you're, so say you stamp, you put a little bit of water down, right? Before you stamp down. When you come and step down, oh, we're going to move a bit fast because that's pretty much already dry. Fun weather, isn't it? See, it still clings to the page. It doesn't exactly move. So, like, you cannot tell apart from this one here when we wet it before we put it on where the water is or where it has been. So the ink on a stamp, like, when it gets it onto the paper, it really doesn't move unless you're using, like, an oxide ink. Then it will move. But this really, it does not move at all. Now let's have a look at how our... Inspired words, it's 
Oh, quite nice, I think. Although, what if we came, we stuck down our inspired word, right? And then we made it like it so it drips out from it. So what if we do that? So if we just come in and let's stick our inspired word down. I think we're just going to use regular glue because this is a title. And we only have ink down on the... We, we only have ink on the base here. We don't have paint going over it. We don't have really anything at all that's super thick. And our tile's just being smushed like we would do on a scrapbooking page. So let's just use regular glue. Just a regular tacky glue. Come in. This is where I have to be careful. I always add too much glue. Problematic. And then just remove some of that one. Stick him down. We're aiming for the center, I think. Bit of a brave move, sticking it in the center. We try and avoid putting things in the center of things because it doesn't always look particularly nice at the end of it all. Also, if you don't get it straight, it's a little bit more obvious. Right, so there we go. He is on. And then if we come in now and let's I'm thinking with our paint pens. Because we've got a few more orange we we've got like these different orange choices here. In different yellow choices. Also sticking to the theme that we're not going to use like paint paint. We're going to use other materials. What do you guys think? It's a bit different, I know. We can add to the colour palette if we need to. I don't think we will though. And then let's just move this over and find a dry piece of plastic literally flip it over yep no paint the paints on the other side of that one and let's just so we'll start off with maybe this yellow here so what we're going to do is, is we're going to extra ink it and try and get as much ink out of it as possible And then we might should do this controlled. Let's have a bit more control than usual. Let's come in. Yep. One on that one. Come in, put a bit of yellow down. Remembering that this is only our base. It does not have to be a hundred percent. And then lift. And then put in. that one on that there we go let it drip so you can kind of see where it's gone now and we're still able to see the smiley faces underneath Ooh. seeing those layers always important and let's just come 
dip in and do the same thing with this fluoro orange, I think it is. It's, oh, no, neon, neon orange Pentone paint marker. It doesn't matter what thickness the nib is. If it is one of the larger sizes, this bit here is a little bit quicker, like the extra inking it. But it doesn't have to be. Coming in. Boop. There we go. And then we come in and do this one over here. A bit of extra water there. No, make it extra wet. Nothing like making it overly up. We still have a few more colors we can choose from too. Look at that. I do like that so far. I think it's quite nice. And then. It's cool how the happy faces are like poking out. Just thinking if we do some t -t 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 the paintbrush. I know. Very descriptive, isn't it? A little bit up here and then a little bit here just to like balance it out. We've got two things on there now. I feel like we need three and then add a bit more colour to our around our inspire. But don't go as far out as what we've got. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's try this colour for our doot doots. Look at that. It's a nice fleshy colour. So we come in and all oh, our page is very wet. This might have been a mistake. We might be switching over to a paintbrush. No, we should be fine. Just make sure we keep that paint pen extra wet. Um, suggestion to leave it to dry at this point before doing these. Just as. Where we pull out the one and we say, this is when we prepare it. Yeah. This is the one we prepared earlier. A class that we had no idea what we were creating for. Too bad we're not in the cooking business, hey, Dad? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going into the cooking business. I've tasted some of our masterpieces on our not so good days. <laughs> you tell your story walking there with a fella. My wheels always turn out perfect. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, thank you, Pony. Hello. How, how are you? How is everyone, actually? We're in Queensland. We're only a week or two away from school holidays. It's very important. That one there's dealt with. And now if we come in 
and we do a bit more of those colors around our inspire but different ones so let's come and do this really dark orange now have an ink and then actually let's just quickly dry our little divots and then they actually pop up when we come in What we could do is, we could just make them a little bit raised. So if we come in with our glue, we just don't want it to splatter everywhere. What is stuck in the glue? There we go, I think that's better. Just come in with the glue. Lift up. Um, can someone come and open the back door for the cat, please? No, she's in the kitchen. Oh, she's in the kitchen? So there's no cat at the back door? No, it's Maddie. She's in the kitchen. Okay. See ya. See ya. There we go. So we've added glue on top there, and it's going to dry clear. And then it should be nice and raised and bubbly. We'll dry it in a minute. Have a look at it. Get a paint on my clean page. There we go. I'm just I got that on my title. We should be alright. I do like the splatter. I like how the glue is resisted. I just didn't quite think it all through with the text. Probably should have covered the inspire word a little bit. We'll live. We will live. Slow and steady.
And then let's just do a little bit of paint there. Spray. Move that one there a little bit. And then really I'm liking this. I think the contrast is going well. Do you think we need it to be a little bit stronger? But let me just come in and dry it a little bit because it is very wet. And you can tell that because see how we've got the feather coming through from the other side or the leaf coming through? You can actually see where that leaf line is on the other side. That is um, because we have like wet all the way through all the layers. So we just need to come through of like all the layers of the paper through the paint layers over the other side. So we just need to come and dry it. It's not too difficult realistically. We'll just, you know, give it a bit of a heat. And then we just come Do that one there. there. And then let's just add But I know you can't see where I'm at what I'm adding there. I'm gonna lift it up to show you now. So just added a few little bits and pieces there, the paint pens around the word, around inspire. And what we've done is is so I've put yellow mainly in the orange areas and I put the orange mainly in the yellow areas. There are a few orange bits in the orange areas just to make a bit more of a balance. But I do like it. And these little the dollops of glue are going to dry clear. I'm not going to be able to show you that until later on in the week, probably tomorrow night at the earliest. So possibly, um, oh, don't leave that in there. They'll damage it. Uh, possibly Wednesday night on class. We can show you it. And obviously on Saturday in our weekly roundup. Um, but yeah. Let's see. I reckon we need anything else. I like how you can see the smileys. I do think that we could maybe come in with um, this is the neon yellow. I'm just going to kneel for this bit and come in.
can do it on the inside not fully completely like not coloring it in completely just And then let's do go so our black paint pen is the paint pen that goes first in our family just because it gets used for a lot of other colours. And in rush outlining jobs. Okay, and then just come in and also back up these lines here so you can see them. Actually, I'm going to do a really cool thing where I'm also going to come in then and use white on the other side of our color next. So we've used black kind of like on the inside of our letters and on the outside bits or our lines on the outside. And then if we actually come and put white on the other side of them. So let's just grab the white. Make sure this white has pigment. Mm. Say so. There we go. Had a bit of fluff stopping it. And we just come in.
And then if we come in now, we do it on the inside of our letters, around the white a little bit, I mean around the yellow, we're using white. I think we might be done. Look at that. Inspire. So we've gone for very warm tones this week. Even the green was very warm. So over here we're going to do like cool tones next week. And I've just smudged my glue. So they're going to dry clear as well. And they're going to be like really glossy. And I'll be able to show you next week. But um, oh, thank you all. I hope you enjoyed tonight's class. This was just like a quick, you know, reminder of like smushing does exist and how to go about it and that our stamps do work with ink pads so if you wanted to do it on your scrapbooking pages it works completely well you saw that to actually make that smiley face background it only took us about 10 minutes five minutes if that um and we were fluffing around with water and everything so you could easily do that for a card as well it's a, it's a lovely stamp um, I do love our stamps. We should, we do have a few designs in the backlog that we're going to make up. Um, stamps just take a better day. That's also uh, to make. So getting time in the schedule to do that is the main thing. But yeah, so thank you all for coming. And um, uh, this week we have car making Tuesday morning, like usual at 9.30 Queensland time. We've got scrapbooking at Wednesday on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Queensland time they're in the subscription March subscription group on Facebook we have Mackay coming up so anyone who's coming to Mackay make sure you've booked your spot uh, and I believe the early bird discount is now off of our cutest garden retreat lavender dream retreat kits are going out this week so our weekly kits so is the final stuff of the super weekend we had two weekends ago um and well technically one weekend to go yeah one weekend to go so yeah so thank you all for coming and uh we shall see you all during the week have a great week stay safe bye